In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the prefab brush to paint prefabs as tiles in our scene. We're going to look at how to create and use a prefab brush, and we're also going to look at how we can adjust the tile map grid to also paint prefabs in a 3D scene. Sometimes when using the tile map, we want to add more complex objects into our scenes. In this scene, I've built a level using the tile map tools, and if I play the game, we can move around and explore the scene, but there's not much else to do. I'd like to be able to add some collectibles into the scene for our player to pick up. In my project, I have these gem prefabs that I can place into the scene. We could duplicate and move these around as usual, but this is a little bit slow and imprecise. Using the 2D Extras pack, we can actually define this gem prefab as a tile for us to paint onto our tile map. To do this, we'll need to create a new prefab brush, which we'll call Gems. Then, if we select the asset, we can assign the first gem prefab into the prefabs list. Let's create a tile map specifically for our gems, and then if we select the gem brush, from the choice of brushes in the tile palette window, we can then simply paint the prefab into our scene just as we would any other tile. There's two more gem prefabs I'd like to use. We could create a new brush for each of them if we wanted to paint them individually. However, I'd like to have the brush randomly pick between these gems so we'll add them to the list of prefabs on our existing brush. Now, if we paint with the brush, we can lay out random gems across our level. Using the prefab brush, it's easy and quick to combine 3D assets or more complex game objects into our 2D game. It's also worth noting, however, that we can use this brush to help us lay out prefabs in a 3D scene too. Here, I've got an empty 3D scene and a tile map grid aligned vertically. I have a custom prefab brush for some trees, which, if I paint here, align and stack vertically with the tile map. If I select the grid and change the swizzle from XYZ to XZY, and then select the tile map and change the orientation from XY to XZ, we can now see that the grid aligns with our ground plane and our brush now enables us to paint in 3D space. As you can see, the prefab brush is an extremely powerful and flexible addition to the tile map toolset that allows us to very quickly place more complex objects into our 2D and 3D environments and helps us build complex levels much more easily. For more information about the tile map features or to download Unity and try the prefab brush yourself, follow the links below. Thanks for watching.